Hello everyone, my name is Özge Gizmerci, a final year PhD student at the Bebram Institute of University of Cambridge. Today I will be talking about the characterization of Lang transcripts with a novel tool that we developed in our institute which is called Nexons and we uncovered the regulation of poison exons and splicing factors in human germline center B cells. Alternative splicing plays a major role in the differentiation of immune cells. Although the role of alternative splicing is studied extensively in T-cells differentiation, its role in B-cell maturation and activation is less characterized. For the terminal differentiation, B-cells undergoes the germinal center reaction. Germinal centers are found in the secondary lymphoid tissues, such as lymph node and spleen. Germinal centers are composed of two compartments as darton and lyson. Upon antigen activation, naive B cells enter into dark zone of germinal center for proliferation and enzymatic fermentation to increase their antibody diversity, then they migrate into light zone compartment for affinity maturation with the help of follicular helper T cells. During this process, they increase their semic expression, which is important driver for this positive selection process and at the end they terminally differentiate into memory B cells or plasma cells with high affinity antibodies. The changes in alternative splicing between naive and activated B cells localized in dark zone and light zone was not studied before. Today I will be presenting some findings between these compartments. In our experimental design we used human tonses from five donors and we isolated both naive B-cells and germinal center B-cells population using their specific markers CXCR4 for dark zone and CD83 for light zone. And we sorted them in certain number of cells per population then isolated their RNA and used the same RNA sample for nanopore long read sequencing and elimino short read sequencing. We first checked the alternative splicing events in which we were significant to change between naive and activated populations. We performed our meta-analysis, which is a tool for alternative splicing analysis from shorted data. As you can see, in each pairwise comparison between activated versus naive population, we were able to see robust changes in different alternative splicing events. We developed an isoform detection tool from long read data, and we call this pipeline Nexons, which stands for nanopore exons. So this pipeline starts with the aligned long reads using a third party tool, in our case it was Minimap2, and then we detect the highly expressed genes, then realign the cDNA sequences to genomic segments from these highly expressed genes and extract their splice junction coordinates, which we then use Nexons to aggregate the similar structures, which is then filtered for their supporting read counts by Nexons. Then we quantitate and compare the variance between the conditions using an R package that we developed for the Nexons analysis for the downstream um, comparisons. So we compared um, naive and lysine germinal center B cells, which we concentrated on the MIG target genes because MIG is um, a transcription factor which regulates the positive selection in the lysine region. When we look into the differential expressed and differential splice genes, we could see among these three overlapping genes, we were able to detect uh, serum-rich splicing factors. RSF3 actually is post-transcriptionally regulated during the germinal center reaction with an increase in the protein coding transcript isoform in the lysosome region. We could see that this reason was due to the poison exon inclusion um, in, the, in the naive B cells and which the poison exon inclusion was then reported to be actually um, the reason for the uh, SR family members pre mRNA to go to non cells mediated decay. Next, we further look into the isoform use of SR family members among the Nexon identified transcripts. Then we were able to see that alternative isoform use of SR me family members between naive and light and germinal center B cells exist. Next, we checked the significance of differential splice isoforms using DREMSEC. Indeed, we were able to see that most of the isoforms which were differential splice were significantly alternative splice between naive and light and germinal center B cells. 
when we uh, check the expression of these two transcripts across these three populations, we could observe the nonsense mediated uh, decay transcript was more upregulated than the naive B cells. When the B cells um, enter to germinal center reaction, they lose the expression of the NMD transcript and they start to express the protein coding transcript or SRSF1, which then give rise to expression of SR SRSF1 um, protein. By using long read nanopore data, we then check the expression of the SR family members uh, during the germinal center reaction. And we could see some of the members showed actually higher expression during the germinal center um, reaction in dark zone and light zone populations. Luckily, we found some proteome data as well from human tonsils from the same compartments, and we could observe most of these SR family members could actually uh, show an increase in the expression during the germinal center reaction, which gives us a clue about their possible role in the positive selection process. In summary today, in my talk, I was able to show that exons can resolve the complex isoform structures from nanopore long read data. And we applied the next ones to study alternative splicing changes in human germinal center B cell populations. And we showed that SR family members are post transcription regulated by poison exons during the germinal center reaction. And overall, we are hoping to, to have a deeper understanding of the alternative splicing regulation during the positive selection process in germinal center B cells. I would like to thank to people who contributed to this project. First of all, to my supervisor, Martin Turner, and my mentor, Liz Matheson, and also the head of bioinformatics group, Simon Andrews, who helped me to develop the Nexon tool. Thank you very much for listening. If you're more interested in my poster in the computational technology will be available.